Hello, Anson Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial. This is video number 261 and today we're looking at texture classification of images, the old school method. So just to say the IP credit comes from there, I'll give more, more details in a minute, but just to be clear about that, Bruce Tanban wrote the code. And there's a lot of assumptions here today, so I, you know, I'm just going to run through it. I won't explain in great detail, so sorry about that. So Grey Comitex, KTH chips, directory structures as an MSOS, CV partition in MATLAB, and these um, classifications, uh, a tree, a KNN, and tree type. So I assume you know all of that are fairly familiar. So before we do anything, so as I said before, Bruce Tannenbaum wrote this code. I found this on MATLAB Central File Exchange. So I'll just play about this. There is a more modern version using an um, image data store, and we might have a go at that in the next few days. But for the moment, we're doing it the old school method. Okay, so I just wonder, I think I had a bit of difficulty finding the data set I mentioned in, later on. So, there, KTH tips. Uh, because when you look it up, uh, the links that I found were all dead. So I'm just uh, that. So before we do anything, um, there's Bruce's uh, here a .m file, and I made it into a .mnx file. Live script. Before we do that, um, you have to make a db info file. So. There's, you have to set the path, and I had downloaded these uh, images already into the Corner MATLAB CV, the MATLAB uh, webinar demos. So, so I had downloaded them there in KTH tips. Okay, so if you want to load in. A load of images, shall we say, the old fashioned method. There we are, and that's how you build your database of a, of a good old for loop. Okay, you just run around the for loop and you that line there, you just read it, each, sub, each file and each subdirectory. Hopefully, you're okay with that. Here's the MLX file. I'm going to look at the PDF version because it takes a while to run. There we are. So the tips is textures under varying illumination, pose, and scale. Okay, we can go look that up. There's the data source. I gave some GLCMs, grade ever coefficient matrix. Another one's there, and I'm also going to do a little playlist of all my texture files at the end. Texture classification, I should say. There's the KTH tips. There's the 10 different um, surface types that we have there. We load DB info, which we've made in the previous file, and remember you've got to set your path correctly. Then we run over again, we run over using the good old for loop and we read in each file there. And there it is, there's aluminium soil, one brown bread, one core dry, one cotton, one cracker. I use the grayscale ones, I think Bruce used to call it it's just to say the real time. And there's the other ones linen, orange peel, sandpaper, sponge, and styrofoam. So we're just going to do a simple one here. We're just going to read the first image in the first subfolder, which is the first aluminium one. Here I am read the file name, and we get the GLCM. And there's the color currency matrix with the first aluminium one. Move along. And we're going to get one for each material that's the, you know, the core dry, the sandpaper, etc. 
if we start loop again, running all over. And there's the GLCMs for the 10 different types of textures, surface textures. So this is where the real work becomes. We have a nested for loop. So we're going to run around the whole directory structure. Then we're going to go to each folder and we're going to get the GLCM for the, for the different aluminiums, the different cauterized, different styrofoams, etc. etc. So we're going to end up with uh, 810 64. There's 810 images, there's 10 types, and there's 81 images in each. So that's 810, and the 64 is the GLCM for each image. And then we're going to do the texture material for that. So the one is going to be for the aluminium, the twos are going to be, I forget what's the, what's the second one again. Two ones are going to represent aluminium, twos are going to represent brown bread, three is cauterized, four is cotton, five is cracker, etc. etc. So we've gone round, we've got the 810 um, GLCMs, and then your 81. Uh, number so to be 81 ones, 81 number twos, 81 number threes, 81 number fours, where I said what one, two, and three, four represent above. There's the texture descriptors for the aluminium, and now here's the bit of classification. So I assume you know what CV partition is. You have a training set, you have a test set, as described there. We're going to use a classification tree to run it. Off we go. There we are. Training accuracy 91%. There's, you're asked to do a prediction. Test accuracy 73%. Let's get the confusion matrix up. Ideally, everything would be along the leading diagonal. The more you have off the leading diagonal, the more unreliable, but you know that already. K nearest neighbor classification. Test accuracy 75%. Larger training set. 78%. Three bagger. Uh, Bruce used a uh, MATLAB Pro, which would be the old method of calling your GPU or your parallel processing toolbox. It's power pool today. So, around that. There's three bagger there. Test accuracy is 90%. Let's look at the confusion matrix. There we are. There's the confusion matrix, as it were, black and white, pretty respectable. And what I did then was I did everything with the texture descriptors and the texture material. So, what hopefully I'll do is I'll take everything and I want to run it into the classification toolbox. You know, that's, of course, not today. I might do that in the next video. Okay, so hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.